Sorry if I sound sick. I have been sick for the past week, but I do want to get back to making videos. I do have a new mic and I want to test it out. So if you're a fan of one-liners like me to an extent, and you're not familiar with chaining multiple comparison operators on one line, then stick around. So we have three different variables. A is three, B is five, C is 10. We want to verify that B is the middle integer. So for this example, we decide to do if B is greater than A, so if five is greater than three, then continue. Next, we check if B is less than C, so if five is is less than 10, then go ahead and print out that B is in the middle. Now we could write this on one line using the AND statement, but we want to make this as short as possible, so we're going to use multiple comparison operators. What we have here in the first section of our check, A is less than B, it's just the reverse of what we were checking before. Before we were checking if B is greater than A, the only thing that we did was we swapped out B for A and we flipped our comparison operator to the opposite direction. So now it reads from left to right, if A is less than B, which is three is less than five, and B is less than C, which is five is less than 10, then go ahead and go on to the next line. Okay, don't forget to like and subscribe for more daily content. But if you're still here, let me show you why this might be a bad thing to use sometimes. So let's jump through this really quickly. We have a player class storing the player's health along with a player get health method. Next, we have our cutscene manager storing the Boolean, if it's active or not, along with a static method that returns the requirements for the cutscene to activate based on the player's health. So let's go ahead and create an instance of the class and here's where the issue starts if we were to try to recreate our first scenario with a b and c you can see that this takes up a lot of room a lot of videos will stop at a b and c and not explain that in real code you will have long lines of code you won't just have a b and c so you're gonna have to really think about how you're gonna format your code before you get into writing your code because if I was to try to one line this code we would go past our line limit for pep 8 and you really want to stay within the standard when you're writing code I wonder how many times I just said code